This week's video is a simple one. It's something I need to remake and it's a dowel plate for making your own dowels. It's not actually a dowel plate yet, but it will be, so keep watching. And making your own dowels is a handy thing to be able to do because if you go to the hardware store, there's not really much choice. Here in Australia, it's pine or Tasmanian oak and that's pretty well it. Being able to make your own dowels, you can choose what timber you make them from. So if you've got a dowel that's exposed in a joint, you could contrast that with a lighter wood against dark wood or whatever, the choice is limitless. So uh, they're also very easy to make. All you need is a piece of steel and any piece of steel will uh, work. You just need it to be around about three mil thick or an eighth of an inch and that will do the job. This one here I made a few years ago and it's been used uh, quite a few times now. And as you can see, it's got all bent and warped and it actually still does work. When I made it, I didn't put any effort in. I just grabbed a, a, a scrap of angle iron and I just drilled a, a series of holes in uh, smaller increments and then we just take a, a piece of square stock that we prepare slightly bigger than the dowel we want and we just hammer that through each hole until we get a dowel and they come out pretty good as well and if you uh, chuck them up in the drill with a bit of sandpaper you can clean them right up and they come up very nice. So I'm making the new one out of a thicker piece of steel. This is about 10 mil thick or 3 eighths of an inch. It's two inches wide or 50 mil and I've just cut it to 180 mil in length. So I've made a template. I thought it was easier to space this out on the computer. So that's what I've done. And I'll make the uh, download available as well if anybody else wants to make one of these. I'm making the series of holes go down in half mil increments and the reason for that is I'll be able to take one final pass and just take off half a mil and that should leave a nice clean finish so that's what I'm hoping we'll see how that turns out. The holes range from 6mm up to 13mm and the two outside ones are for fixing the plate down and I'll drill those with a 5mm bit and countersink it afterwards with a larger drill bit but while I've got the 5mm bit in I'm going to drill a pilot hole in the rest of the holes. A couple of the holes had burrs on and I thought I'd just take those off with this old sharpening stone. It's not that important, it would work it as it was, but I may as well just clean it up a little bit. The dowel plate itself is finished and to use it you line up the hole you need over the top of one of the dog holes in your bench and then hammer your square stock through. But I'm going to mount this one on a block.
Another way you can use this is rather than knock the square stock through the holes, you can chuck it up in your drill and then turn it into the holes and that uh, does the job as well. You just need to chip a little bit off the end just uh, so we can get a start into the hole. And to chuck it up into the drill we'll need to do both ends. It's not very easy to put something that's square inside a chuck and keep it centered so this is uh, what I've been doing. I've just been uh, knocking it so far through just to get a start. And if you only knock it sort of that far it's easy enough to get back out and I'm jumping a couple of holes here. And now that's round enough to put in the chuck. Hi, my name's Neil and I like to collect dowels. Well that's a big improvement over the last one but there's a couple of things I need to point out. When using the drill I found while making these that the hardest of the hardwoods uh, they split, they twisted and split but those hardwoods actually worked very well by banging them through and they came out very clean where I found the soft woods and the softer of the hardwoods came out cleaner with the drill. So one way or another they worked very well so just finding it out by using it. And another point I need to make is when you select your timber you need to try and find some straight grain. If it's not straight grain there's a chance it will break and split. And if you really want strong uh, dowels then the way to do it is to rive the wood and split it with the grain and it will be even stronger. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.